Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Luke Beasley, and I'm here today with Joanna Chiz and Ariana Introna, and we are three quarters of the steering group of the Marxism and Disability Network. You're seeing us because you've clicked on the Marxism and Disability Network playlist on Historical Materialism's YouTube channel. So we wanted to take the opportunity to chat to you a little bit about what the MDN is, what we do, how we're going to develop in future, and some of the core issues that our research network deals with just before you jump into our videos so far. We'd like to start by talking a little bit about why a Marxism and Disability Network was started in the first place. So I'd like to ask Ariana if she could tell us a little bit about how the idea came about to form uh, a research network on Marxism and disability. The idea started at the last uh, historical materialism conference in London, um, which happened in 2022. Uh, at that conference, Paul Reynolds and I felt that um, uh, we were surprised that there weren't many papers talking about the relationship between disability as a socioeconomic and political phenomenon and Marxism or capitalist relations of production and social reproduction more generally. Uh, there was only my paper, but we knew that um, there are many scholars or activists or people who are interested in this encounter between disability and capitalism. So we felt that creating um, a space um, where people could meet each other and talk about these issues uh, could be very productive um, and generative of ideas, um, as well as mutual support uh, as people with shared experiences and interests. That was late last year. Uh, a call was sent out in the very early part of this year for participants, people who might want to be involved. And then, Joanna, can you bring us up to date on the story of the network from there, please? So since the start of 2023, we have held monthly talks online, on usually on the first Tuesday of the month. Um, and um, many attendees from all around the world attended these talks. Um, some of whom are involved in the academic spaces, others who are involved in uh, disabled people's organizations. We've covered topics such as crypt compositionisms, the medical curriculum, consumerism, crip time, technology, social reproduction, and more through the lens of disability politics and Marxism. And uh, we have also announced recently an initiative to publish as open access a series of pamphlets. Um, so um, I would like to stress um, that it, it, it would be good for you to watch this space. Um, we've got a website on WordPress called marxismdisability.wordpress.com where you can see and uh, follow our um, announcements and event list. And we are also present on Twitter as Marx Disability. And if you wish to join our mailing list, we've got a GIST mailing list um, and the link to it is available on the website. I think what really separates us from a lot of the other disability research networks that at least I've come across, and I think some of us have spoken about before, is that we have a real sense of purpose and a real um, set of reasons as to why we think that there needs to be a reinterrogation of the relationship between the theoretical tendency we work in, Marxism, um, and the social struggles around disablement. I mean, I'm sure that we've all spoken to other scholars who, when we go, well, why are you working on this theoretical paradigm and disability? They respond with, well, nobody had before, and the subtext is maybe there was funding there. Um, we think there are actually two really compelling reasons to go back to a Marxist analysis to attempt to think through disabled people's social struggles. The first of those, of course, is that it's been done before. Um, so there was a transnational Marxist tendency within the disabled people's movement that was represented in the Anglophone world by people like Vic Finkelstein, Paul and Judy Hunt, Martha Russell and Helen Keller. Um, and also important uh, figures in Swedish Swedish disability politics like um, Wilhelm Ekenstein and in, in Japanese disability politics around the Zen Shiren Collective. In what has been recognized as a crisis of the disabled people's movement and simultaneously a crisis of its relationship to disability studies, we think that that tendency has some compelling analyses and some compelling answers to contemporary problems. And we think that it's worthwhile for scholars and activists alike to go back to re 
re-excavate those analyses to attempt to apply them today to see how strong they are and see in what ways they might need to be changed. Our second reason is stemming from our, our commitment to Marxism and our recognition that it's a developing science which can't just be wrapped up in, in, in dogmas, you know, which has to be constantly open to the changing facts of the world and the changing discoveries of other sciences. We believe that Marxism has been reinvigorated by its engagements with struggles against oppression outside of the workers' movement. So in particular, we think Marxism has been enriched by its engagement with struggles for sexual liberation, for gender liberation outside of the workplace, and for racial liberation outside of the workplace. And we believe following that, that Marxism will gain a tremendous amount from an engagement with disablement and the resistance to it. So having given you a bit of a snapshot of where we're up to, how we got started, and why we do what we do, I think it would be cool maybe to to turn to how the network's going to grow and change maybe within the next year um, and point to some of the things that we as steering group members are are, are really looking forward to. Um, so if I could start with yourself on that, Joanna, what are you looking forward to in the next 12 months? We've got a year's worth of great talks. Um, the schedule um, will be available on the website uh, very soon. And also if you join our GIST mailing list, you will receive emails um, there. Um, with all the links and details uh, that you need. Um, and I'm looking forward, for instance, um, to um, the talks uh, such as uh, the power of po protest poetry and uh, women with chronic pain as time travelers. Um, this um, network is especially and very uh, particularly interdisciplinary, which is uh, something I very much um, enjoy and, and like to see um, happening. I'm looking forward to the relationships uh, of mutual support that we can build uh, between presenters and people just coming along to to the talks to um, to share ideas and experiences. And a key um, a key inspiration for us is the idea that we are building a community of people with shared experiences, with uh, shared interests, and we are there to encourage each other um, and nourish each other's research, but also to support each other in, in a space um, like academia, um, but also spaces of welfare, um, so outside academia where uh, many of us encounter discrimination and oppression on a daily basis. So it's also uh, a space for building uh, mutual support and, and, and just encouraging each other and sharing um, knowledges and experiences of how to also um, um, resist this oppression and uh, recognize the legitimate forms of violence to which we are subjected. If you want to get involved in the Marxism and Disability Network, firstly, we'd love to have you. There are lots of different ways to get involved. You could um, get in contact with us and say that you want to present on something that you're working on. You could just come along to the talks and engage in the discussion. If you our interest in some of the ideas we've been talking about. We're looking to put together some open access publications soon based around our talks, but also with response pieces from, from members of the network to allow us to really push our ideas, engage in critique together and build up that kind of comradely community which is able to challenge each other and really push for um, an analysis, a strategy and an understanding that can be useful in our struggles for full control over our lives. You can sign up to the network on our website. The link to our website is in the video description. And we hope that you really enjoy the videos that we've put online so far. And we look forward to seeing you soon.